A species of ant keeps other ants as pets. In the intricate world of ants, there's a fascinating story of symbiosis and cooperation. Picture this, a species of ant that keeps other ants as pets. These aren't your ordinary relationships between creatures. These ants have formed partnerships with smaller species of ants, turning them into household helpers of sorts. It's a bond that goes beyond mere survival. These smaller ants, known as pet ants, are brought into the colony not just for protection, but to perform vital tasks for their larger hosts. The larger ants, often from the Formica genus, have developed a mutualistic relationship with the smaller species, typically known as repletes. These tiny ants are like the household cleaners and storage managers of the colony. They scavenge and collect food, not just for themselves, but to share with their larger companions. They even help keep the nest clean, taking care of any debris or waste that could compromise the health of the colony. It's as if they've been domesticated. Their every move guided by the needs of the larger ant society. This domestic arrangement begins when the larger ants discover these small species. They offer protection in exchange for the smaller ants' labour, and over time this relationship becomes so, so intertwined that the smaller ants may lose their independence. They live within the colony, tending to the needs of the larger ants while being fed and cared for in return. Their primary role is to ensure the smooth operation of the nest, keeping things tidy and stocked with food. But the story doesn't stop there. Some species of these pet ants are even entrusted with the most important task of all, keeping the queen fed and healthy. They help harvest the sweet nectar that the queen depends on to lay her eggs, ensuring the colony thrives. In this delicate balance, the pet ants may live their entire lives within the safety of the colony, never straying too far from the queen's side. So, the next time you see a line of ants marching across your yard, remember, some of them might not just be workers, but the pets of a more dominant species, living out a life of mutual benefit and shared purpose. It's a unique form of domestication, a living example of how nature constantly blurs the lines between wild and tamed. If you found this story fascinating, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to help the channel grow.